nothing when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gonna have you jealous uh. YouTube, good job boys and girls, we back with another video, man, today Y'all see the title, Hall oh, Family, y'all see what we got That boy Tom And um, <clears throat> based off of what I see, for one time is sitting on a cop car And for two, this song is called Politically Incorrect, so We already know where this song finna go, and we know how it's finna, finna get it We all know Tom, how Tom is, Hall Family, so He needs no introduction Without further freaking do let me run to it. Uh, my generation's afraid of opinions. Y'all so intolerant. Y'all so See, already. We Tom song just started. Two, one second in. My goodness. He spoke a fact already. It's true. <clears throat> this didn't right look. Y'all, y'all have an opinion that somebody strongly disagree with. I already know how they end up. They're ashamed of themselves because they're privileged and whiter. They're black and the opposite. You get charged with harassment for hugging the woman or giving the compliment. Y'all wait. Oh man, yeah, that's true, y'all. Too sensitive yet, offended to death. Bring all the coffins in. I swear that y'all are mad at everything that don't affect your life. Hey, I swear that y'all believe that being offended just means that you're right. Man, yeah, y'all, I'm telling y'all. Fellas, especially, it, it's it's so oh my goodness, it's so bad out here. Now this has this has not happened to me specifically, but I have seen guys who aren't the best, like like who don't look the best or who aren't that physically attractive, who are like nice guys, and I've seen them approach women, and women like go so hard on like. They you don't know, just get rejected nowadays. They go hard on you. Like they <clears throat> they make you feel like stupid. They make you feel dumb and make you feel less of a person. Just because they feel like why do you feel like you should be even trying to talk to me? Just just based off of how you look. I've seen it in person, y'all. I've seen it happen. And now it's got to the point where it's like, if you talk to some some women, if you talk to some women, they'll feel so uncomfortable because of how you look that's how you harassing them and you just being nice so y'all it's bad it's bad like i've seen i've literally seen it with my own eyes like it's bad it's it's, it's bad nowadays like y'all oh my goodness and time speaking facts this generation like opinions just jesus christ y'all cancel culture is just crazy Hey, I swear that y'all just want to be the only ones who everyone lies Hey, I swear if I swear at you ninnies, you probably so triggered you cry And nobody wants to be real, everyone's scared of how everyone feels We become so ultra sensitive and hyper tolerant that honestly, honesty gonna be illegal It's crazy y'all get so shocked and bothered from people saying things that aren't responsible If that seems logical, y'all are weak then If someone says retard, it ruins your weekend Yeah, like, and then like the new this new gen like I think I'm in the generation or this is the generation before me. <clears throat> no, I think this is the generation before me, because I'm I'm 26, y'all. I turned 27 this year. But um I think it's a, a, a I think it's years below me. Oh no no no. Since I was born in 1996, I think that's the last year of Gen Z. So I'm at I'm at, I'm like the oldest peak of Gen Z. Okay, so so Gen Z is like 20, 27, 26, and like down. Y'all, <clears throat> this generation, though, my generation is so soft, though. Like, they can't, <clears throat> they don't know how to ignore it. For one, they let everything on social media get to them. To get to them. You say something, something about them on social media, they're going to they gonna probably cry. Like, and multiple, multiple people do that nowadays. And it's like, why? There is a setting for every app in like you go to your settings, you're gonna see every app there. All you gotta do is just turn off the notifications for the app, and guess what? You don't see anything. You can see the notifications still go there, but you're not gonna see it's not gonna pop up at the top of your phone. You're not gonna just see it. All these apps have done an amazing job of like, you know, 
if you get like a wave of hate or whatever it is, like you can still block that out. You could be on the app and not see anything. So it's like, I don't know. People, it's like people, it's like people choose to see negativity. Now, for me personally, I don't get negativity. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe when we get bigger, we might. I, I'm not sure. We'll have to see y'all. Cause yeah, I know our social media. But even even if I did, it wouldn't affect me. Because all I gotta do is go to my app, turn notifications off, and I don't see none of it. I can post. I can literally keep posting, and not see nothing. So, yeah, this is a tip for all the people that you know. Because I've seen some of y'all have actually told me like you know. Y'all kind of let comments get to y'all too in my own comments. And it's like, y'all don't, if my supporters, y'all don't argue with nobody. Now, I mean, if one, it's one thing to disagree on something, but like, don't let nobody get y'all to the point where they're getting y'all sad or anything. Cause some of y'all told me that, like, no, like Chris, I was defending you in the comments and it's just too much. So I'm gonna take, it's like, y'all, come on, don't let, don't let, don't let people get to, if they disagree with me, let them disagree with me. And we just gonna, you know, we're gonna go from there. But, don't get to the point where it's like, you know, you messing up your mental health, you know? Cause y'all see, I mean, I the only people, I only reply to positive people, but like I tell y'all, it's hard to reply to everybody. It really is. Especially now. It was so easy when I had a thousand subs, but now it's like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying though, but it's hard, y'all. I promise. That's retarded. My hair been in braids because it looks hella awesome. Y'all like to scream I appropriate culture, but I don't hear nothing. I'm paying homage. Y'all are just trying to get likes on your comments. Googling quotes that are socially conscious. And saying you're woke doesn't make you a prophet. It makes you a liar and stupid of not. Always on that blah, blah. Y'all should keep it to yourselves. Yeah, y'all, the woke culture, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I don't mind thinking out, people thinking outside the box and, like, you know, people having a mind for their own and saying, well, this ain't right and this ain't right. I'm perfectly fine with that, but sometimes it gets to the point where it's like, okay, y'all overdoing it to the point where like some of y'all trying to become prophets and it's like, you cannot predict the future. You can't. Like, it's fine to be, you know, understanding of what's going on and see the bigger picture, but trying to be like a prophet is like this. Y'all notice like every time some like woke people, they they predict something's gonna happen at this year or or this year or on this year or this year or this time. It never happened. Like, we we were supposed to have been gone like twenty twenty twelve, what twenty twelve? We were supposed to end in twenty twelve. COVID was supposed to take us out of here too, and we were been supposed to been like a a war already, a nuclear war too. None of it happened. COVID went away. No war started, and we still here past 20, 2012. Y'all, it, 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 it's, it's a gnat, y'all. Oh, my goodness. But anywho, yeah, like, it, that. come on, y'all. You cannot prophesize what's going to happen next. This is not how it works. Miss me with that drama. You must think I'm someone else. Happy Halloween for one evening only you wear what you want <laughs> Unless it's a poncho a headdress or afro you'll piss someone off hey. I said Merry Christmas, but I know that it's about to be gone If religious freedom's such a dire issue Why you dress like a priest in October for fun? Don't let them censor your thoughts Don't let them make you regret that you talk Don't let them tell you that nice is the law Trying to make you all righter when nothing is wrong Yeah, words hurt you, clothes hurt you Memes hurt you, jokes hurt you, we hurt you Half the time you don't even probably know what hurt you But you super mad, trust we hurt you Oh man, yeah, like y'all and y'all know how I feel about this topic too, like the depression topic and the topic of people like being way too sensitive. Like, I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. It's like everybody crying out for help nowadays. Like the attention, the people, the attention people seeking nowadays, it's really at an all time high. 
And it's like, you can just tell it like, it's very unhealthy. Like it's very unhealthy. Like, like these people, like whatever it is, any, anything anybody says about them, they just, and y'all, this is it, even some celebrities. They just let every negative thing get to them. And they all, you got some celebrities out here that only reply to negative people. You literally have celebrities that only reply to negative people. Make that shit make sense. Why? When you get to, when, when you have like 10 millions and millions of subs, um, not subs, um, followers on Instagram or Twitter, somebody is not going to, somebody is not going to agree with you on certain stuff. That's fine. I would, bro, I'm, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I don't even think a lot of, a lot of these celebrities are even getting hate. They just have people disagree with them about, about maybe what they wear or maybe what they have on or a certain topic. And a lot of these celebrities take that as like they hating. No, they just said they feel like them shoes don't match the outfit. Maybe wear these shoes and you think that's hating. Like what? And then <clears throat> guess what? Their rebuttal to that is broke people. I only got something to say. Oh, y'all broke. Oh, y'all broke. broke. Like that. So your counter argument is money. If somebody gave you probably a valid reason to disagree with you on a certain outfit. Like, come on now, that's stupid. But yeah, yeah, the world, the world is it's way too sensitive nowadays. And I just, me personally, I don't like it. But <clears throat> to each his own. Like, it is what it is. But yeah, it's 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 weird nowadays, y'all. Trust me. And then people be talking about the like, I don't, I I bet not hear nobody saying they got a person on social media. I don't want to see that shit. I, I, y'all think I'm probably gonna start calling people out when we get bigger. I'm gonna call some people out. Like you do not have the press. I'm literally gonna call call the stuff out. Like these other influencers doing that nonsense. I'm gonna call them out. Anywho, you applying in the broken system? Are you triggered much? You been showing symptoms. Y'all are so addicted to being hopeless victims. Y'all can crash a plane and blame the road conditions. And your only sickness is your social vision. Makes you scared of choices, but you pro decision. So you march a lot, but never go the distance. Yelling way too loud until no one listens. Always on that blah, blah Y'all should keep it to yourselves Miss me with that drama You must think I'm someone else Cause y'all don't wanna f*** with me Cause I don't feel the pressure No, I will not be censored I'm not afraid, that's why they f*** with me My name will be remembered I will live forever I bet y'all hate that y'all are stuck, stuck with me You look like the devil, you sound like some Christians You just want a medal for asking permission You just want a pat on the back in addition to being so tolerant Fine, I admit it, you're nicer, you're better, you're writer You're brilliant, most sensitive creatures in all of existence My freedom of thought should be censored with prison The world would be better if we weren't so different <laughs> Always on that blah, blah Man, y'all, well, let me let me just go out on my own. Uh, y'all should keep it to yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss me with that drama. You must think I'm someone else. Cause y'all don't wanna f with me. Cause I don't feel the pressure. No, I will not be censored. I'm not afraid, that's why they f with me. My name will be remembered. I will live forever. I bet y'all hate that y'all are stuck with me. First off, first off, <clears throat> loved it, Tom. Loved it. Second of all, y'all, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting bad out here, y'all. Like, people are getting soft now, especially guys. Like, it's, it's, I've been seeing a lot of guys real soft. Like y'all, whole family, y'all know y'all got guys bigger than me. Well, fatter, I guess you could say. Bigger than me, soft as pillows or soft as a marshmallow. And it's like, what, like, what is wrong with y'all? And like, in the world wondering why a large amount of women, like 99% of women, y'all, is going after like, what, 20? Y'all, the, the stats is crazy. 99% of women, 99, 
99 finds 20% of guys attractive. So you telling me 99% of women having sex with 20% of men? That right there, oh my God, y'all, that right there alone is insane. And then if y'all know anything about the population in the world, it's already more women than men. That's like what? 4.4 billion percent? No, no, no. That's 4.4 billion women. And there's like only 4 billion men. That right there alone is insane to me. And then you got to cut like more than 50% of those men off because they don't look, because they ugly. Women don't find them attractive. Yo, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. 99% of women only find 20%. That means the other 80% is either a loser, fat, too skinny, soft, not making money. Like, oh my goodness, y'all. 99% of women, y'all. 20% of guys. I, I just can't get, I can't get over it, y'all. Like, I saw this the other day. Like, yesterday, was yesterday? Like, y'all, it's, it's, do y'all know how crazy that is? And we, and look, and, and y'all be wondering why a large percent of women going after this small percent of men. <laughs> Luckily, I'm in that 20%, but, um, <laughs> Hey, yeah, fellas, if y'all struggling, I can't look, I can't help y'all, man. But um, but that no, nah, I can't. I told I told y'all what to do, fellas, if y'all are struggling with women. The first, first things first, forget everything else. Get in the gym. Get in the gym. Get in the gym and change your your, your change how your body structure. Like it helps, trust me. Working out helped me out. So it can help any man out. So fellas, get in the gym. Then didn't worry about money. So yeah, gym, money, that's a knack, my bad. But anywho, gym, then money, then worry about the status or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so gym, money, then status. Well, I mean, you technically money, gym, then status, but yeah. But um, yeah, it's crazy out here. It's bad. It's bad, fellas. <laughs> it's bad. Ladies, and guess what? I don't knock y'all for it either. It's a lot of, you know, Hey, it's a lot of weirdos out here, so I don't blame y'all, but fellas, yeah, I want to be in that 20% sexual wise, obviously. Like, forget the 1% thing, like, just be sexually appealing to women and then make a good, a decent amount of money, and you fine. You don't have to be in the 1%. You're already in the 20% if you, like, you know, get your body right. Literally, like, it's, it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy, but. <clears throat> Yeah, man, like y'all, a lot of guys are too soft nowadays and females are literally like in disgust by that. So that's why that's why the numbers are so crazy like that, y'all. 99% of women, 20% of guys because of that. Too many soft guys out here not working out, not, you know, not they, they fat or skinny. They not making money, like not handling their priorities right. They not taking care of stuff. That's why you have so many women like taking on the independent role, y'all. Like, if you not doing what you're supposed to do, I mean, obviously they're gonna do it. That's why I never blame women for being independent. I know it does mess with them a little bit, but that's why I don't blame women for being independent. Like, what they have no choice. You got a lot of soft, lazy guys out here who relying on women, and it's like, what y'all expect? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I like. Come on now. But um, ladies, I will say it, it well. Yeah, that this guy's fault too then. Hmm. Anywho, y'all, just don't forget 90, 99% of women, 20% of guys. Crazy. Cause guys too soft. Guys too soft out here nowadays. Mm-mm-mm. Fellas, if you in that 80%, just get to the gym, work out, focus on yourself for a year, you'll be fine. And get a get a good eat, get a good diet too. 
Yeah, yeah, the world is definitely getting soft, but I agree, and I agree with everything Tom said too. So, yeah, but um, anywho, Hall family, that's all I have for this video. Um, <laughs> obviously, another time video then went 20 minutes, of course, per usual, turned to five, six minute video, like a 20 minute video. Anywho, um, yeah, yeah, like I said, it's gonna do it for this video. Y'all, y'all know y'all thoughts and know what y'all think, and yeah, it's okay if y'all don't agree with me on everything. That's fine. Like, we over here, if we had discussions about stuff, we healthily disagree with each other, okay? It's fine. It's fine. But on anywho, y'all say save Paul family. Y'all say out of trouble. Love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Now, bye. Influence all the times you told me beat it. Now you gotta face the music. I'm saying.